Good morning. Okay, as soon as I sit down in my chair, we're gonna play with all my gouache. And I'm gonna tell you about each each one of the gouache. So we're gonna start with this. And I have a piece of palette paper. And um, we got Turner Natural Gray number five. <gasps> okay, so yeah, that happens. We don't want all that. Let's see if we can get rid of some of that. It's um, the binder is just like all up at the top. Okay. A little bit of that. Natural gray. I'm going to put these away as I, as I fill them out. So. Okay. And then we have natural gray number eight and let's see if that's gonna do it too well um, I'm just explaining showing you how the different gouache turns how the different gouache works so this is a permanent yellow orange and the Turner gouache seems a little runny I'm hoping that when I get to most of that, um, let's see if I can shake it. You shouldn't be able to shake gouache. And it's fine though. I mean, you're still gonna get your color and you're still gonna get your color on your paper. And, and then we have lilac, which I, I think it's pretty sweet. Oh, we're gonna get rid of some of that. And we're gonna put some lilac there. I'll mind you, I'm just using a lot here, but um, that's fine. Let's try this. Okay, this, so this one isn't so bad. That's coral red, which is actually pretty sweet. And then we have celadon, which is a green. I'm not sure, but it sure is messy. <laughs> Let's try that one. Okay. So that's my that's my Turner um, gouaches. And I have this paper here. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna play with these a little bit, and we'll start with. Oh, we're going to use this. It's a Pilot Petite. Yeah. Make some. Okay, so that's not very square. I'm going to make some little. Areas that we can paint some pictures in with just gouache. Now, uh, when you use the gouache, well, everybody uses gouache differently. And I, like I said in a few videos earlier that I was learning to use the gouache. So I wet my brush. I have to look at my camera quick, make sure you can see me. Okay, let's move this over. I just want to be able to show all you what I'm doing. So, okay, so I wet my brush and I dried it off because I don't want it a lot. But we're gonna, we need a background. So, um, I'm gonna use this purple. And we're gonna make this purple background. And it, this can be a little bit um, light because we wanna paint thicker over th thinner. So, you know, I learned that from somebody else. And isn't that how we learn? It's just by watching other people. And, um, yeah. So, I have a brush here. This one. You would think that I would learn how to do certain things. And I'm just... 
enjoying all my art. So let's put a little water in there. Okay. All right, so now we gotta let that dry before we paint on it. Otherwise we'll be lifting it up. So let's not do that now. The other colors that I have are um, M. Graham Ultramarine Blue. We're gonna put that on there. These are exquisite gouache paints. Gamboge. Once again, it's gouache. Over. Which is different than, oh, there is no, yeah, it's the only gamboge I have, but a Turner, um, the Turner is close to this, but not this. Okay. And then we have Pyro Red. They're honey based, and they actually come out really nice out of the tubes. And it's expensive. You definitely don't want... And the thing about this gouache is, you know, if you get a crack or something in the tube and it dries out, peel it open. Don't cut your fingers. Even though it's dry, it's still good. It ain't, like, dry forever. Okay, so, and then while we're... And then we're going to put some more in there, but what we're going to do is we need another one here. And um, I'm thinking that we're going to take this here, um, Cerulean Blue. This is a Da Vinci gouache. And it's nice and thick. Cerulean Blue. Um, the Da Vinci gouache. I'm going to leave one out of each, so... Thalo blue. And what I did was um, got a bunch of colors that I thought that I would want. And you never know. I mean, you might, you might want them. This one is a uh, raw umber. Which is pretty dark. And then we have Burnt Sienna, which almost broke my fingers getting it out because it's very thick. There's a little local shop here, and they put the prices on it, and they sell it to you for half half the price. And I can't get it open, so I'm not going to fight with it because cause my fingers will hurt. Okay, that's a pretty cool red. We're gonna take that red. And then we are going to paint it right here. Let's see if I got my colors here. Okay. I'm just looking to see where I can sit, where you see everything, okay. So we're gonna take this Venetian red. And I thinned it down a lot, but I need a background. I'm going to use this. This will be an interesting background. And that's okay. Put that in there. All right. Another background that I would like to have is this peach well you know what let's try this magenta we don't want the magenta okay so these are really hard to get open we want da vinci permanent artist squash yellow medium that's what we want we want yellow medium And so we're going to put yellow on the next square. 
Okay, so my red is still in my brush. So we're getting an off color. And that's okay. Let's do that anyways. There we go with that. And then we need one more. Cerulean blue. And this way, the background is already there, and I don't have to worry about filling in white space. I'm using 100% cotton Fabriano paper. I am using uh, Royal and Lang Nickel paintbrushes, and this one's a Nick Pro. Colors there. Let's wash that out. And um, the only thing I need on my palette is a little bit of green. We're going to put some green right there. And definitely we need white. So we have opaque white. And you can never have too much white on your palette. I try to keep my white white. Don't know how that's gonna work. We got some sap green, I like sap green. We got three different colors of green. And oh my goodness sakes, it's like, when they put this one in the paint, they forgot to put anything in it, solid. But it's not broke, so I don't know what the deal. Okay, so, and then, this is from Lucas. This one was on sale. So I got it for like $3. So I bought it. And it's cadmium yellow deep. Because just because it was so inexpensive. And then we have black. And that's from Lucas. So we'll be trying these different. We'll be trying these different paints. Okay. First thing I want to do is I want to put a little bit of this green with some of this yellow. Make it a little thicker. <clears throat> We're gonna make a um. field and what we're doing here is we're going to we're going to make a feel. We're going to put some trees in the background. I want to make a... I want to make a, a, a barn or a house or a barn or something back there. So we're going to need some trees. Let's put some trees there. And I'm painting thick on thin. And I'll touch the paper. You want to be careful. You don't want to, um, you don't want to touch the paper too much and get that, lift up the paint underneath it. Okay, and I need some more. Tree. This tree is a little bit closer than the other tree. Pine trees are usually more um, like that. We'll put another one right there. So 
Sorry for the shadow. I need to read better now. Okay, so then we have some kind of a barn or something in the background there. So, and um, I want to use red, but we're not going to go bright, bright red. We want it thick. That's not very thick. Let's put a little brown in it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do like this. So we got this here building here in the background. And then we're gonna put a little dark in that color. I'm gonna add another building back here. We need some shadows, so we're gonna <laughs> okay. We're gonna try and make some shadows. Are you ready? Let's get some more shadows. Okay, we're gonna leave that one alone now because I'm way off the mark on that one. Let's do it again. Okay, I see balloons here. I see beautiful, beautiful balloons. So we're gonna put and do just like this. There's one. And then we're gonna be using some white to make the balloons um, sparkle. So you gotta put the balloons down first. Don't forget this bright yellow. Good luck on the bright yellow. Just like that. And the blue. Well, okay. Green, blue, green, balloon. Okay. The neat thing about the balloon is we can use marker. Those are flying away off into the off into the wheat woods or sky shiny balloon and so all you gotta do is add a little bit of white 
it and you got sparkly balloons and clouds. Don't forget the clouds. Fluffy, fluffy clouds. Let's get some fluffy clouds in there. <laughs> There's our little clouds. And then I see on the next one here, I see a cow. So we're going to go up like this. I could probably use a better brush. Yep, definitely need a better brush. Less water. It's like I said, you know, do learning. Learning to paint with gouache is definitely a, um, it's a work in progress. All right, and now we're gonna go with just some colors because we're gonna try out this beautiful gray. So, um, the neat thing about the grays is you can get a lot of tones with your grays without having to um, use any colors at all. And you just have to figure out what you're gonna do with your um, with your colors now. I got here the inside of a building. Here's the inside of my building. This is the back wall right here. This is leading up to the to the back wall. And once you get in, and then there could be a floor. We're going to go 
this color as the floor. A little bit of perspective in there. And that's what you get when you're looking at, looking in, you get this gradient of colors. Even though the whole building is all one color. I'm learning my colors. I guess the whole exercise is um, get yourself some gouache, lay out your colors, and then make something. Don't just look at the tubes and say, ooh, ah, no. Get out there and make something. That means so this Lucas, this is drying up pretty nice, which means I can re wet it. And I can um, do something else with it. Don't get me wrong. I love my watercolors. But um, gouache is be fast becoming my new love. And eventually I'll make something beautiful with it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I have made some some pictures from gouache. I don't know if I have it in here or not. I might have um, I might have it in here. Oh, I do. I have this one I made with gouache the other day. And um, this dragon, which I was practicing. And, oh, no, nope, that's it. Okay. But these are my, these are my watercolor pictures. So, yeah. Oh, there's, I was getting ready for more gouache. Hey, thanks for coming along on my ride. Um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.